Hello, my very most beautiful Aries. How are you? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my loves, we are going to be doing your November weekly reading. And this reading is going to go from the 15th through the 21st. Now it is a general reading and it may not be able to, you know, resonate for everyone. So guys, if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you guys need to know about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So we are going to go ahead and pray and just get started. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my most beautiful Aries, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Aries energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. We're going to take a look at your energy, and then we're going to take a look at the person you're dealing with, what their energy is towards you. Okay, so my loves, we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse and the Three of Swords, the Three of Cups. Okay, so you know what? We got the Justice in the reverse, Three of Cups in the reverse, Three of Swords, um, Eight of Wands in the reverse. So I do feel like somebody here did something. For some of you guys, it was a third party situation and um, they tried to put you in or they were just giving their attention to other people, something of that nature. Okay. Um, for others of you, they just did something that they did you wrong here. Okay. They just did. And it caused you a great deal of pain. And I do feel like you guys are choosing to stop communicating with somebody. You're just done with it. You're not putting up with their crap anymore. Okay. That's just how that's feeling to me. So for your, in your headspace, we have the knight of swords in reverse so stopping communication with somebody in your heart space i do feel like you still feel very connected to this person um so i'm getting a, quite a few different messages we're going to clarify but i'm going to go over what i'm feeling just guys take the messages that are for you for you and the ones that aren't for you leave that for somebody else okay um every single message doesn't have to apply for the reading to be for you it is a general reading so i do feel like you guys are stopping communication absolutely with this energy eight of wands in the reverse knight of swords in the in the reverse okay for some of you guys you could be feeling a lot of hate in your heart right now so keep in mind that that hurts you more than it does them Okay, and that's something that needs to be worked through because some of you guys, I am feeling a lot of like hate energy um, because of whatever this pain that this person caused you. And um, it's just important for you guys to start working on that, to process that, okay? And I'm sorry that you guys are really hurting. I'm sorry that you guys are going through this. For those of you that aren't having that issue, okay, um, I do feel like you could still feel very connected to this person. You still feel very... Um, I'll say bound to them in some way, but you also know that it's toxic. You know that there's something about this person that just isn't good for you, okay? And I do feel like a lot of you guys are choosing to put this behind you because of that reason. Now, you see them as the five of wands in the reverse, so you know that they still want to work on things, okay? They are trying to act like they want to cooperate, act like they want to work on things, act like they want to communicate, but... Your action is the world card. You are choosing to put this behind you. You are choosing to really close this cycle out, okay? Um, you're doing what's best for you because you know that there's something about this person that's toxic. And even though you may have love for them, even though you may still feel them energetically, you know, this is not something that you're willing to allow into your energy space any longer. I do feel like you guys are choosing to block them out energetically. So we're going to grab another deck and we are going to see what energy this person has for you. And then we will clarify, okay? Then we're going to clarify everything as we go. So what energy does this person have towards Aries? What is this person's energy towards Aries, please? What is their energy towards Aries? What is their energy towards Aries? Okay. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. Oh, Aries, this is affecting them. The Knight of Wands in the reverse. And the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Six of Swords in the reverse at the bottom for what their general overall energies. They are not able to get past this. They are really stuck in this at this time. All right, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse in their headspace. So they know that you're not investing into this. You're not giving them any attention. They are really feeling your lack of presence right now. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knight of Swords in the reverse. This lack of communication, you cutting them off, you not having anything to do with them. Um... 
man, they are feeling it, Aries. They are really, this is really affecting them. It's in their head. It's in their heart. It's like all consuming, okay? Um, it's all consuming at this time. The Knight of Wands in the reverse is how they see you. So they see you as somebody who's like very turned off, who's not taking any action towards them, who's not giving them any attention, who doesn't want anything to do with them. They could see you as somebody who's disgusted. Okay, so they see you as somebody who's disgusted with them, okay? Um, and their action is the Ace of Swords in the reverse. I do feel like they're trying to figure something out with that energy. We're going to have to take a look. It could be it. You know, trying to figure out how to communicate to you, how to get through to you, how to change your mind, something of that nature. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Tell me about this Knight of Swords energy. Why is the Knight of Swords here in reverse for Aries? The strength card in the reverse. You don't have the strength to keep doing this. You don't have the strength to listen to their lies. You don't have the strength to deal with their bullcrap. Okay? That's what this is. You just don't. You're just done. Okay? The devil card, the ten of swords. You have to put, you're putting an end to this toxic crap, to this situation, to having to deal with this because you know that you deserve better. Okay? And you guys are putting an end to this once and for all. That's what that feels like to me. Tell me about this five, five of wands in the reverse. Tell me why the five of wands is here in the reverse. The three of swords in the reverse. Okay? They're trying to like make up. They're trying to, you know, I feel like they want to get along. The Three of Swords in the reverse, they want to take away some of this pain for you, but it's like a little, too little too late. They already they already did what they did to cause the pain in the first place, okay? Um, and their their words, they're trying to make amends now, isn't, isn't taking away the pain that you're going through. Tell me about this world card. What is this world card about? The Six of Swords in the reverse. You're not willing to continue to go through this because there's a big part of you that doesn't think anything would change. You feel like it would always be like this. Okay, you're just like, if I continue in this cycle, if I don't close this out, it's always going to come back to this place. It's always going to come right back to here. Okay, it's just not something that you're willing to keep doing to yourself. So tell me about this Queen of Pentacles energy in the reverse. Why is that in their headspace? The devil. Because they know that like this like toxic energy, okay, whatever they did here, whatever this devil energy is, you know, it's like it's like it's caught up to them, okay? And they know that that's why. And they know that there's no changing your mind here. Tell me about this Knight of Swords in the reverse. The Knight of Swords in the upright. Yeah, so no communication, okay? in their heart they want that that's what they want they want communication like the fact that you're not speaking to them the fact that you're not giving your another chance or listening to what they have to say or giving them your energy um the fact that you won't you know just talk things out with them and let them make up with you um is really affecting them it's really affecting them it's hitting them hard tell me about this knight of wands in the reverse energy why is this knight of wands in the reverse energy the Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on this with you, okay? They want to work on this with you. Tell me about this Ace of Swords in the reverse. Why is that here? The Ace of Wands, they want another chance with you. They want a new opportunity. That's what I said when I said they were trying to figure out, you know, something here. They're trying to figure out how they can, you know, basically have another chance with you. How they can, you know, get back into your good graces. How they can have a new beginning. Um, but I don't see it because you made up your mind. Two of Wands in the reverse. So we are going to, I feel like you guys are finally closing out a very toxic cycle. There's something about this person and it always does end up to here. You know, you're right, Aries. And you're finally knowing your worth and seeing, you know what, like, I deserve so much better than to constantly be dealing with this crap. You know, I deserve so much better than to be constantly treated this way. Um, and you guys are finally knowing your worth and standing up for yourself. You guys are finally closing something out that just doesn't belong there, okay? We're going to go ahead and get some confirmation, clarification, and advice for you now, my loves. Archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors, what confirmation, clarification, and advice do we have for my beautiful Aries? What confirmation, clarification, and advice do we have for my very beautiful Aries, please? Confirmation, clarification, or advice. A time for healing. Balsamic moon. Yeah, it is a time for healing because you guys have been through enough and you deserve so much better and you deserve to be happy. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So this ending is going to be a catalyst. It's the catalyst for your new beginning. And Spirit wants you to take a look at what you want that to look like because you can have whatever you want. It's time to reach for the stars. It's time to know that you can have whatever life you want, whatever love you want, whatever kind of partnership you want. Okay, so Spirit's saying it's time to heal. It's time to, to meditate, to contemplate, to really think about what you want that future to look like um, so you can start creating it. 
bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius so some of you guys you know are going to be attracting a, a brand new love here others of you it's time to give this love that you've been giving to this person all of this energy think about all the energy that you've put into this connection that you gave to trying to make this work with this person and it's time to give some of that love to yourself it's time to love yourself the way that you've been loving this person okay the way that you've given to this person it's time to give that to you now okay so you can show the world the real you so you can be the highest expression of yourself here so my loves that is what i have for you and if this resonates please let me know in the comments down below and if it doesn't check out your other sign placements sometimes your moon rising in venus can resonate more than your sun sign does if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe and if you hit that notification bell when we do our monthlies mid monthlies weeklies and bonuses you guys can be notified and you can check them out but most importantly if you guys want personal prayers for any reason you can put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and i will go through and i will pray for you so i am sending you so much love and light until next time